Comme on a entendu tous beaucoup de toutes les théories de Mézières, de Bousquet, de... qu'est-ce qui différencie Anatomy Trains de toutes ces autres théories sur des chaînes musculaires Yeah, Philippe, I'm not the first person to think of lines going through the body. So in France, you have Françoise Mézières, and uh, she proposed a series of lines that have been developed by Saint-Denis and Bousquet. These lines are not fascial lines. So those are functional connections, and they advanced our knowledge by giving us an understanding of functional connection. But that's not what I'm doing here. What I did with the anatomy trains is what are the fascial connections? These are actual connections through the fabric. We've dissected every one of them out as single units. And essentially what we are doing is turning the scalpel sideways. So instead of cutting it into pieces, we have the whole string of sausages. The fascia is the sausage casing and each muscle is like a sausage, but they act in the string. What we're doing is looking at how the big bands of muscle and fascia together pull the body into a pattern. Once you can see that pattern, then you can say, ah, I've seen that before. I need to work from this ASIS over to these ribs around the serratus anterior to connect with the rhomboids, to lift the head up on this side to come out of this. And then you will probably see, oh yeah, there are joint where the facet joints are closed on one side and open on the other, uh, things that an osteopath would do. But if you don't undo the pattern in the superficial musculature, then the tendency for those joints to go back to where they were before is very, very strong. If you take the fabric and you use the plasticity of this fabric to open it up, then uh, your osteopathic manipulations will last a lot longer.